Hey everyone, how's it going? So yes, it is November 2nd, 2022, and we are definitely fairly deep into the bear market and no one has anything to mine. So every once in a while, I will jump over here to Bitcoin Talk and find announcements. And there's another one here that apparently has been up for a few weeks, kind of on the down low. It's a slow start, but the blockchain's already running and it already has a small community around it. It's not literally just a, another fork of Ethereum and it disappears within a week or two. So the developers are talking on their Discord, which we will get to in a minute. I just wanted to show you this. They don't even have a website up yet. They're still working on it. Again, this is a slow build project, which is perfectly okay by me. But a lot of people like myself are looking for something to spec mine. Here's another one that looks a little bit promising. So this one is called Mine oleum am i saying that right mine oleum but it sounds like rust oleum but yeah mine oleum they're interested in solo mining but there is a few pools as well uh basically it is still an et hash 15 second block time uh difficulty auto adjusts and two coins per block basically it's an ethereum fork started over from the beginning and they're going to do their own little development um let's switch over to the discord Okay, so now on their Discord, and I will put a link for their Discord down in the video description below in case you want to do your own research on this project, because most of the uh, information and talking is on their Discord server right now. Um, let's start with the wallet. They are using a MetaMask wallet. So let's pop open. Sorry, yes, the last thing I had open was Pink Chain. So let's bounce over and let's make a new... Okay, we're going to do Minoleum. We're going to make a new C. We're going to go add a network. Network name. RPC URL. Chain ID. Currency symbol is MO. Let's save. Switch to Minoleum. Got it. Okay, so now we have... Our, it's still the same address, basically, if you're used to MetaMask. So let's just copy the clipboard. Let's get into Hive OS. Let's add a wallet. Now, of course, this coin is not going to be in here, so we're just going to do MO. Let's scroll down a little bit. There we go. Create MO. Put in your address. And just for myself, I know exactly where to find it. There we go. Wall is added. Should be somewhere down here. Yep, there it is. MetaMask. So let's go find a pool. Now there are three pools right now. Uh, mine on pool, mineoleum.ru, and mining for people. I'm going to give mining for people a chance right now. They do have a PPLNS test, although it actually is on and running. Let's click on that. We see, yes, it is running. The network hash rate actually has dropped a little bit since this morning. What was it like 43 giga hash? Um, we're at 38 now. No one's mining on here at the moment, but I think there's people mining over on the solo part. But let me find the link for that. Okay, now here is their solo pool for this coin. Again, 38.7 giga hash, and there are four miners, eight workers pool fee oh that's the other thing mining for people zero pool fee whether it be pplns or solo at the time of making this video and you can definitely see the network difficulty there was a nice jump there first came down working its way back up and we have a few active miners i'm going to join the solo pool here in a few seconds so let's go ahead and click connect so yeah connect to pool on the solo Here's your pool wallet in case you want to verify funds. Uh, solo payout one MO. Each block is two. So basically every block you hit, you're going to get a payout. And again, zero pool fee. Now, I have talked to Mining for People. He is working on his interface. It is a little bit on the clunky side, not very intuitive. He is actively working on a new version for his whole front end. So bear with him. I've talked to the guy. Seems to be genuine. Seems to be nice. Uh, you can see a bunch of stratums here. Not all of them. You got to scroll down a little bit more. Pretty much just ignore this part, except for the usminingforpeople.com. That's going to be your stratum. 
Um, available on GB, SG, and FI. Let's try the GB. I know the FI one is up. I talked to him earlier. I'm not sure if the GB, which I assume stands for Great Britain. But uh, we're going to be on port 4075. So let's grab this. Let's go over back to Hive OS. Let's start a flight sheet here. So we're going to go MO. Pull, configure, minor. Now let's do um, AMD. Actually, let's just do the mixed rig right now because I have one rig that has a mix of AMD and um, NVIDIA. So first, let's do AMD. Now, since it doesn't, Hive OS doesn't know what MO is, so we have to put in the hash algorithm. So that's easy, just ET hash, wallet and worker, pass X, pull URL. We're going to put this in, and it was 4,075. We're going to try the Great Britain, see what happens. That's all I should have to do for the AMD side. Now let's add a miner again. MO. Wallet, bigger miner, and for the NVIDIA, let's just run T-Rex. Again, just add ET hash, and we're good to go. Wallet, worker name, pull URL, Great Britain, Great Britain, 4,075, past X, and the latest version. So we're going to name this Octo3. But that's the mixed rig I have. And this is going to be MO coin. Create flight sheet. So now let's go over to Octo 3. All of my rigs are currently off. And before we turn it on, let's flip this flight sheet. There we go. It's also going to change my overclocks for me from when I was doing uh, Pink Chain. And let's turn on Octo 3 from the PDU. You see it firing up. Let's give it a minute or two for it to start up. Let's get back over to Hive OS and wait for it to kick in and see what happens. Okay, she just booted. Let's drop down into the shell. Let's watch Team Red Miner first and we'll keep an eye. See if we get connected to that Great Britain stratum. Nope, it connected. Okay, so the Great Britain Stratum is up. And you see this has been up for a little bit. You Normally, brand new ET hash chains start at 1.01 gigabytes. This one's at 1.04. So I think this chain has been running for about two weeks at the time of making this video. There we go. We're getting share accepted. Let's check T-Rex. There we go. Yep, connected, and we are hashing. Let's go back to the main Hive OS screen. Refresh here. There we go. Everything's popping back up a little bit more. This should be 46. Give me a few seconds. Oh, you know what? They're still tuning. AMD takes a little bit of time to tune. Yeah, see? For some reason, AMD on small DAG file sizes actually gets a uh, hash rate boost because remember on ethereum before they went proof of stake you would normally get about 46 mega hash on 6700 xt we're getting just shy of 50 we should get close to 50 maybe not maybe not this time but let's go ahead and i want to make two more flight sheets actually no just one more flight sheet for my other two octominers here which are both just amd and we're going to get started on some solo mining Okay, now I got all three Octominers on. We can see they're mining. These ones just came online. And we are doing literally just over one giga hash on ET hash. Let's move over to... Let's get rid of this, the PPLNS. Get rid of that because we're doing solo. You see we already have some shares here. And we can see one miner right now. Let's... uh. Give it a few bit minutes and see what pops up here. Okay, so for some reason, his website is not showing all my workers or all the hash rate. It literally just dropped off. It's still working. If we look over here, we are still hashing. Perfectly fine. 
So he has a little bit of a reporting issue, but at the same time, look right here. It's only been 10 minutes or so. I've been waiting for the rest of them to pop up and we've already hit two blocks and already gotten paid out for MO. So let's go to MetaMask and take a look. There it is, 3.995. Uh, there's zero pool fee, but you do pay the gas fee for them to switch on over, which apparently at this point was 0.005 MO was the gas fee. Already gotten, this has been 10 minutes mining at one giga hash. But then again, don't forget the network hash rate is only like 40 giga hash. So I got 1 40th of the network currently. And literally, Another 30 seconds, I've hit another block because apparently we just got another two. So there you go. Something new to spec mine in November 2022. Give it a shot. You can see I'm popping blocks left and right on one giga hash. Uh, will this ever be worth something? Will I get rich off of it? Am I just wasting my electricity? Only time will tell. That's part of spec mining. Uh, we'll see how the project goes. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down below. I will leave any and all relevant links regarding this project down in the video description below. And I will catch you on the next video.